So, uh, the bullet protection on that suit is not great. I'm pretty sure I shot this guy directly in the back of the head. So that's not a not too big a deal because um, I shouldn't be getting shot at too much. Let's see. Oh, get out of the. Ah, uh, great. See how this suit does. Ah, uh, oh, don't die! It's a Kolobok. Please be good. Ah, health plus four. Excellent. Oh no, not that. We need that. So if I can find another anti-radiation artifact, uh, my health will be really cruising. As you can see, it's really generating pretty quick right now. I'd also like to find an uh, anti-bleeding artifact, because cripes, I'm tired of bleeding all the time. So, on to Yantar. Ah, lovely Yantar. Get a bit of a look. Zombies? Yep, zombies. Hmm. Oh, this shouldn't be a problem. We need to switch fire modes. All right, a little more trouble than I thought. No, I shot you in the head. Shot you in the head too. Well, they can handle that one guy. Probably be some more zombies over here. Oh, no zombies on this side. Okay. Oh, oh! Cripes, buddy! This may not be over yet. That'll teach them to stay away from places they aren't invited to. <laughs> I'm looking around for any of them that are going... It just bugs me when they do that. They just writhe around. Oh, hello. Here's another bandage. Funky, weird glass there. Okay, come over here. Over here. Yes, thank you. Welcome faster, to our humble faster. science lab. Well, well, I seldom see a new face here. So, what would you like to know? It was nice talking to you. Arg! Oh, on the upside, he has that. Okay, so this is an easy decision. There's a bunch of guys out here. I'll just sell to them anyway, because they'll probably give me a better deal. Oh, no! What? You bastard. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, well. Best wishes. Well, that's great that you offer the, uh... 
bullets for a sniper rifle, but don't actually sell a sniper rifle. This is fantastic. Oh, I could sell that here. But I don't want to, because <laughs> it's... Um, got decent bullet protection on it right now. A lot better than this one. I do want to upgrade this, though. So trade that. Blah, blah, blah. Go trade off the old one to another guy. He doesn't want it either. What does it say, anyway? Valus Detector. So, let's see. Yes, fancy! Gives me direction and location and... Very nice. I guess no one wants to buy that other one from you me. You got something to say, say it. Whatever. Just getting rid of it. Don't even care. Oh, this guy could take me. I'm all e Ooh, man. Charges a fortune. A brutal fortune. Alright, whatever. So let's see what Straylock was up to. Geezer! Come here! Come here! Thank you. How are you, young man? Well, well. I seldom see a... Yes, he visited us. He knew a great deal, far more than others. <laughs> he even claimed to have been to the center of the zone. Naturally, I didn't really believe him, even though he showed me some photographs. Yeah. We made a deal with him. <laughs> Of he course, promised to conduct field testing on one of our promising experimental models, a Psi emission blocker. And we promised to give him the final version in return. Strelog believed that the blocker would help him get through the brain scorcher. We gave him the prototype, and he went into the factory. That was the last we saw of Strelog and the prototype. We received some data via our satellite, but the signal has been lost. Blah, blah, blah. His Strelok is in the factory. Oh, Christ. Getting inside without a Psi protection device is virtually impossible. We have been studying the Psi emissions originating from the factory for years. They have a pronounced pulse nature. When they are in their low phase, people go into the factory relatively safely. However, we are unable to predict when the next emission will take place, so going inside is like playing Russian roulette. If you decide to follow Strelok into the factory, you will most likely end up with your brains melted like most of the zombies around here. There is something which I may be able to do for you, however. Some time ago, I was contacted by a group of stalkers who managed to come out of the factory alive. They came across a technical documentation archive in one of the buildings. Those documents could shed light on what the factory contains and help us uncover the source of such powerful psi emissions. Help me find those documents, and I'll help you get inside the factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the group the went missing in the northwestern part of the facility. That area is full of zombies. I cannot send any stalkers who are guarding the perimeter, seeing as we're barely holding out against the attacks as it is. The SOS signal coming from there is still active, so please try to get the stalkers out if they're still alive. Oh, well, that would be <laughs> something new. I'm not trying to kill anybody. I could actually save someone. Unlikely, but it could happen. Someone's attacking you. They have often. been giving us problems from the day this laboratory was set up. Blah, blah, blah. Don't Where we do they come a from? a long time considering this issue. So Regardless of how it, much effort yeah. is the deserted factory, it draws stalkers like a magnet because it is one of the about lefty. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Okay. So I don't really need to buy anything at all. Uh, uh something that's kind of annoying is in Shadow of Chernobyl, he actually has a chest here for you to use. Uh, I'm really, really leery 
about just leaving suits around. Okay, well, we'll just have to do this. We'll put this on. That. Is that one? Yeah. We're just gonna have to sell the suit. Oh, yeah, of course, now nobody wants that suit. They'll take the other suit, but no, 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 we can't take that one. It's too nice. You got something to say, say it. Buy this suit! 